Pirates, Stirring Poems, and Praising Exhortations. It teaches us good when, reveals good swing, and helps us make decisions. Reading the Old Testament is like looking into a mirror, for it reveals our soul.
Tommy is wrong. The serpent has been ended and to be struck by. And we chose to rebel against burning the belief that we will get. Tell them God, please think we play barrier between God and humans and broadcast to all introduction to the Old Testament. The Old Testament needs put more to these people who were ages. It is called the creation of the world and humanity, the origin of things, and the beginning of the plan of redemption. So we please a much clearer understanding of who God is, what He is doing, and how we should live. The Old Testament stimulates our imagination and arouses our emotions. It is made of how freaking stories are real when stirring poems and pressing information. It teaches us the shed, the real questions, and helps us make decisions. Reading the Old Testament means that you bring into a mirror, for it reveals our soul. It can be a sickness soul, ultimately transforming our character. Jesus emphasizes the importance of understanding the Old Testament. Luke R. Shisu. And Paul was speaking primarily of the Old Testament when he wrote, Our scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. At his second he opened the Old Testament provides us with great profound knowledge of God, ourselves, and the world. That means, each real geography encompasses just as what is seasonally dry river bed, agriculturally rich valleys, rolling fields, arid wilderness, and sandy coast. The Bible describes Israel as a fertile land, one flowing with milk and honey. Exodus 27, 17, 13, 14, 15. But I get all rain and famine. The land of Israel was previously called Canaan. Mesopotamia throughout the Assyria to the north, Babylon to the south, and Persia to the east. All three of these powers constantly threat to their borders. Egypt was also a superpower during the was 
so long it's been. During the time between Joseph and the Exodus, Egypt oppressed and enslaved the people of Israel as they grew from a family of 17 individuals to a great nation. Egypt continued to play a role in the story of Israel toward the end of Israel's kingdom period. The last desperate kings hoped that Egypt would save Judah from the Babylonians. Egypt turned out to be a rig that splinters beneath your weight and pieces your friend. Our pages ship back in our sheep and directly north of Israel, what are the Syria with Damascus as its chief city? Israel experienced frequent conflicts with Aram, beginning during the time of David. Toward the end of the old period, the Persian Empire gained power. Persia occupied the region just east of Mesopotamia. Persia's rise to power began in the MID by SBC and included the defeat of Babylon in Gongyuan Qian Judea became a province in the Persian Empire and remained so until Alexander the Great defeated Persia in Gongyuan Qian The Old Testament Story the Bible begins with the account of creation, Zhen Yi Dao Er. Who created the heavens, the earth, and the first humans, and he pronounced it all very good. God provided Eden, a wonderful place for human beings to live. Adam and Eve enjoyed a harmonious and fulfilling relationship with God and with each other. All of this changed quickly. Genesis 7 introduces the serpent, who injected this girl into this harmonious world. The serpent had him and Adam to disgust God, and they chose to rebel against God in the belief that they knew that. Turned them God, this simply a barrier between God and humans and brought death to all humanity. God's holy presence became deadly to Adam and Eve, and the rejected them from Eden. Even in the midst of judgment for their sin, however, God remained in love, working for their redemption. After Eden, the Octus Cross went split between those who chose to follow God and those who rejected Him. For example, Lego and Seth versus Cain. Wretches Noah versus Thieves with a generation. Isaac versus Ishmael. And Jacob versus Isa and Laban. A crucial transitional point came when God offered great promises to Abraham. He called Abraham to live around 1900 BC and go to the land that I will show you, Jan Shami. Unlike Adam and Eve, Abraham trusted God and responded obediently to him. As a result, God began carrying out his redemptive plan for humanity through Abraham and his descendants. Thus, Abraham became the father of a great nation, with many descendants and much land. Genesis Shepard
Petitioner R. She said this crap's how good multiplied with descendants of Edgar Pan and ultimately get them into possession of the promised land of Canaan. She desired let Edgar Pan's descendants, the nation of Israel, who will be good and prosper in the land seeking them and let the surrounding nations will turn to the true God. However, let Adam and Eve eaten before them. Yeah. Introduction to the Old Testament. Si. Israelites were not satisfied with all that God gave them, instead turning to false gods to find happiness. The rest of the art continues the story of Israel's persistent sin and God's unwavering commitment to them. Although God consistently judged their sin, he also remained patiently involved with his people. Following Israel's settlement in Canaan, the period of the judges was marked by political fragmentation and spiritual confusion. God then allowed the people to choose a king to rule them. The monarchy began with the anointing of Saul and it reached a high point with David and the early part of Solomon's reign 971-931 BC Due to Solomon's sin, however, God divided Israel into two parts, the northern and southern kingdoms. After Solomon's death in Gongyuan Qian 931, from the beginning of the divided monarchy, Gongyuan Qian 931. To the end of the old period, about Gongyuan Qian 400, the prophet Kingdom of Israel, Jesus, Capital Samaria, President King Gongyuan Qian
opened all the old records, but the Hebrew was cracking, giving them a written revelation of his will, his purposes, and his acts in Israel's history. The prophecy of Malachi, written a little before Mongyuan Qin was a down payment of God's redemption for his people. However, the prophets understood that his events were not the ultimate realization of hope. The canon of the Old Testament the text of the Oath was written over a period of approximately 18 years, beginning with Moses and extending to the Persian period following the Jews' return to Judah from exile. God used Moses and many others, judges like Samuel, kings like David and Solomon. Prophets like Isaiah and Jeremiah, priests like Ezra, and other people whose names we don't even know, to write parts of Israel's history and literature. The Order of the Hebrew Bible the order of books in the Hebrew Bible differs from the order of the books in English Bibles, Sichars, Below and Atrat. The Hebrew Bible is divided into three parts, Instruction, Torah, Prophets, Nebim, and Writings, Ketubim. Jesus Re, E, Instruction, Torah. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, R. Prophets, Nebi, Former Prophets, Joshua, Judges, Samuel, E.R. Kings, E.R. Letter Prophets, Ferret to his divisions as the Law of Moses, the Prophets, and the Psalms. Luke 24:44. Jewish readers of the Hebrew Bible sometimes refer to their scripture by taking the first letters of these three parts and forming the word Tanakh. The Hebrew Bible combines into 24 books the same material that is presented as 39 books in the English art. In the Hebrew Bible, the first five books constitute the Torah, this section. Also called the Pentateuch, is unchanged in English Bibles. The second section, the prophets, maybe has two parts. The former prophets, called the historical books in English Bibles, are followed in the Hebrew Bible by the later prophets. The third section, the writings, Katubim contains miscellaneous books, including the books of poetry and wisdom. In later Judaism, the five scrolls, Matthews, were read at the important feasts and arranged in order of their observance in the holiday calendar, see chart, Israel's festivals, p. 235. Ruth was read at the festival of Pentecost. Song of Songs at Passover. 
the Ecclesiastes Fies at the Festival of Shelters. Lamentations at the anniversary of the description of Sha. Jerusalem, the detail of Eb and Esther. Katubim. Isaiah Jeremiah Ezekiel the Twelve, Hosea Joel Amos Obadiah Jonah Micah Nehum Habakkuk Sephaniah Haggai Zechariah Malachi Psalms Job Proverbs Five Scrolls Medievals Ruth Song of Songs Ecclesiastes Lamentations Lester Daniel Ezra Nehemiah Chronicles E.R. <laughs> Introduction to the Old Testament Setbooking Which groups books according to genre and places The books meaning each genre in chronological order the Greek and English art begins with the Pentateuch. Next come the historical narratives. Then the poetical books. Arrange in chronological order according to their setting or traditional date of composition. And finally the prophets. In two parts, the major largest prophets appear in chronological order. They are followed by the two minor shorter prophets, which also follow a general chronological arrangement. Interpreting the Old Testament. Christians sometimes find the Old difficult to read and understand with content that seems strange and distant. What is the connection between Christianity and animal sacrifices, religious circumcision, strange dietary life, the curses of the sons, and the history of ancient Israel? To understand the Earth better, we must realize that it is an ancient book, with the oldest parts written some 1700 years ago. It also comes from a culture, the ancient Near East, vastly different from ours. Most importantly, the books were written before the coming of Christ. The following principles can serve readers as they study the art. Read each passage in context. With the Bible, as with all good literature, gaining a grasp of the whole world does appreciate and understand the parts. We show, Pentateuch, historical books, poetry and wisdom prophets. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Joshua, Judges, Ruth, E. Samuel, R. Samuel, E. Kings, R. Kings, E. Chronicles, R. Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther. Job songs, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Songs. Consider the historical and cultural background of the book. Not treat a biblical book as a collection of isolated sayings. Rather, the books contain connected stories instruction and poems the meaning of the individual verses can be discovered only in the flow of the whole literary piece which occurs by reading large books at a time 
when these principles dash not stop us from turning to the middle of a biblical book to read a few verses. We should also seek to develop an understanding of the message of the whole book. In other words, we should exercise great passion not to discuss God's message when we read small pieces of scripture. The book introduction in the NLT study Bible tells me this process by providing an overview of each book's contents and message. Identify the genre of the book and passage. Contemporary readers are familiar with a variety of genres such as biographies, press books, and newspaper editorials. The content of the book can also be grouped into genres. The genres in the book include history, e.g. Samuel Tricky Covenant, e.g. Exodus Sermon, e.g. Deuteronomy, Poetry and Curve, e.g. Psalms, Wisdom, e.g. Proverbs, Prophecy, e.g. Jeremiah, and Apocalyptic, e.g. Then Qidao Different genres should trigger different reading strategies. Just as we approach a biography differently than we approach a novel, we should try to understand how to approach the different genres of the art. The book and section introduction in the NLT study Bible offer help in understanding of genres. Isaiah Jeremiah Lamentation The City of Daniel Minor Prophets Hosea Joel Amos Obadiah Jonah Micah Nehum Habakkuk Zephaniah Haggai Zechariah Malachi the inspired authors of the Old Testament brought in a time and culture very different from us. We should seek to understand what was taking place during the time period the author described as well as the often different time period when the author was writing. For example, the Book of Chronicles describes the event that took place from the time of David to the exile. But it was probably written in Judea following the return from exile around 公元前四零零. Knowing the details and settings, both of the events that are described and of the time in which the book was written, will help us understand Chronicles and its message more clearly. The same holds true for other books of the earth. Read the Old Testament in the light of Christ's coming. Jesus said that the whole earth anticipated his coming, suffering, and glory. Luke 24, 25 Jesus is the center of biblical revelation. The earth anticipates things, and the anti describes things. Anti authors recognize this. So they frequently cited the art to explain that the glorious events happening in their day were foreshadowed and foretold by the art. Christians, too, should read the art from the perspective of the death and resurrection of Christ.
Translation Including the NLP, his name for God is usually translated the Lord capitalized. Most often, the abstract. God like picture in any relationship. God relates to people as singer, king, shepherd, warrior, husband, and in many other roles. God also reveals to be is by what he does. For example, dividing the Red Sea, cutting the walls of Jericho to fall, establishing David as king, allowing the Babylonian army to defeat Jerusalem, and restoring his people to the land after the exile. The primary message of the Lord is that God saves his people and judges those who resist him. He passionately pursues his simple people in order to establish a community that is in harmony with him, a kingdom that recognizes and serves its divine king. There is one God. The Atlantis a sustained attack on the prevailing rule of the ancient Near East, which was that the heavens and the earth, infused with deities, constitute the sum total of reality. The implications of this false worldview which continues in much of the world today, are many and far reaching. L, 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 L. Because the heavens and the earth contain many diverse parts, many purposes. Because the God 